Hello, welcome to the second lecture of data structure for beginners. We will be talking about arrays. Array is the most basic type of data structure which is used to store data of same type. This data is stored in continuous memory location. Usually it is used to store data with a common theme. Now using the following illustration, we will, will try to understand about arrays. So what are the indices? Indices refers to the relative location of a data from the start of the array. There can be many bases for indexing, the most common being a zero based indexing in which the first array location is referred with zero. This In this case, the uh, ARR zero will give the data stored at the first location which is M. Now what are the memory addresses and how are they determined? The memory addresses start according to the location in the memory located by the system. The increment in the memory address for consecutive data item is equal to the byte size of the data type. Like in this case, this case we are storing care so the memory at memory location will be increased by 1. In the cases of integer it is increased by 4. Now moving on to the advantages, it provides a fast access to a specified data on the basis of its index value in time irrespective of its position. Like in the 10th item can be used using ARR9 uh, assuming we are using zero based indexing. It helps in collectively storing the data for a single or relative entity with a single variable name like the marks of the student can be stored in a marks named array this now moving on to the disadvantages it is its size is fixed so we cannot change it whenever we need during the operation leading to wastage of memory like if we created an array with a size 10 then even if we uses to store 5 items then to it will do use a size of 10 items operations like add addition removal of element can be very costly as all the other elements need to be shifted for example we have an array of cats as shown if we are deleting the character i at the fifth place then we will have to transfer the character at the succeeding location to a preceding lo the preceding location if we want to use this char array as a string like this here the u will come to the ith position t to the uth position and e to the th position now some basic application for array it is used to store data with the same context and data type. It is helpful in carrying out CPU scheduling. Helpful in implementing different types of data structures like heap, queue and hash table. 